and we saw winds gusting from about 53 miles per hour in the Malibu Hills area all the way up to 72 miles per hour up around Montecito Hills. Now the winds will continue today and we'll still see some of that. <laughs> I didn't even wake up. Oh. Mm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm off to my night job. Okay. See you tomorrow, okay? Good night. Mm. Good night. Oh! Hey. Can I borrow a dollar from you? Can I get a oh, dollar? Wait. No, 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 don't, don't, don't get it. Don't get the food. Not for food. It's just for food. Vietnam. <laughs> Hey, 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 guys, come on, leave her alone, hey, can man. can I get a dollar no. from you? Oh, man, shit. Man. Come on, for me, man, for some food, man. Just a dollar, man, just a dollar. I just want to get some food, man. Just a Go dollar. Go away from the car. I did for you, you do Look, for me. You just leave, please. Ah, you, these people. Fuck you. Shit. Oh, man, what the hell? What happened? Hey, kick my car. Look at this. There's nothing over there. What are you talking about? Look at this shit. Well, thank you. You defended me like a real knight. No problem. Okay. Don't worry. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Have you missed me since last night? Oh yeah, about as much as you've missed us. Oh, the gentleman, he should speak for himself. I miss you, and I can't start working until you make me a favorite drink. Make it too. <laughs> I spoiled you too much. Da, da, da. gonna be a long night. It's a good one. Mm -hmm. Okay, Washington. Washington. Why do they call you Washington? What? 
Now I realize how bored we are until you come to work. <laughs> Washington, I don't even know that. Oh, really? I've never asked you that. My dear friends, I will share that secret with you. In my village, I was a noble fighter for the rights of my people. And that is why, like most advanced minds around the world, I was sent into exile. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go ahead, you laugh. Even now, while washing these glasses with dignity, I and I, in fact, is secretly plotting a new revolution to change this unjust world. But first, I'm waiting for my favorite drink. In the name of that, cheers. Shivali. For the new revolution. Da, da, da. <laughs> da, da. <laughs> She was one of our best actresses. I watched her at the National Theater. Bother. Oh no, I want you to meet a friend of mine. This is Juan Pablo. Hi. Hi. Come in. Come, come, have a seat. Okay. Oh, he's going to play my favorite. Sorry, I have to go. See you later. See you later. Bye. Bye. Thank you, sir. Bye. Thank you. Metro Bank, Katerina speaking. One moment, please.
Metro Bank, Katerina speaking. Sure, one moment, please. U srcu čujem grižu miša, a pada hladna sitna kiša. Gde si sad ti? Alo, tata, što ne spavaš ti? Jesam, preserila sam se ovo sad. Super je. Mirno. Ma ne, brini, pa nije mi prvi put da menjam stan, nisam ja od juče u Njurku. Ovde je to normalno. Imam, imam para, ne brini. Pa kad ti kaže? Da, 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 super te čujem. Ne, nego treba da se spremam na posao. Tata, kako ne razumeš da ne mogu, jer smo juče o tome razgovarali? Zato što propisi i naložu da lice koje traži dozvolu za rad i boravak ne sme da napušta Ameriku pet godina. To ti je onaj član 107, strana 23, pasus 8. Ja stvarno više ne znam na kom jeziku to da ti kažem. E, znaš šta? Moram sad da krenem. Znam. Da. Tata, ja to sve dobro znam, da. Ali ajde, molim te ti ja da se dogovorimo, da posmatramo ovo na racionalni i pragmatičan način. Evo, do isteka pet godina fali nam još samo četiri meseca. 
A možemo li još toliko da se strpimo? A evo, ja ti obećavam, punem ti se. Čim dobijem papire, dolazim u Beograd prvim avionom. A što mi sad sve to govoriš? Ne raz... Je li sve u redu tu, da? Dobro. A i sad stvarno moram da krenem. Halo, tata? Halo? Thank you. I'll see you later. Okay. Bye. Number 177. And the last time you told me to bring this one as well. You're not ready yet. Uh, uh, no, 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 but the last time you told me to bring this one in here. <laughs> <laughs> 
Young lady, you don't exist until this date. No, 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 please. No, 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 please. Hey, please wait. Hey, come back. Hey, you can't do this to me. I'm not moving away from here. Please, no, stay, please. No. Excuse me. Okay, she's with me. Excuse me. Excuse me. She needs help. I'm late. She's with me. It's all right. It's okay. I got it. It's okay. I know. I know. It's okay. It's okay. Shh. under the table anymore. I don't want to be anxious all the time waiting for the papers. Every day after work I'm running to the pub and then on the top of that if I can still stand on my feet I'm, I'm, I'm cleaning the offices in the neighborhood just to get a few extra bucks. I don't have any strength anymore. I've had enough. Every time I get mail, I think it's a deportation letter. And then at the top of that, I have to pretend all day at work and just a stupid intern and to put up a smiley faces and cordially answer all those idiotic questions. Everything's gonna be fine. You have held out for so long. You can wait a little bit longer. No, no way, no way. It was enough humiliation. Angelo will take care of everything now. Angelo? Wait, is he mafia? So what? They're all mafia. I think you're making a mistake. I, I think this is just gonna make everything worse. What happens if you get deported? Whatever happens, happens. I just wanna get done with it no matter what. I've had enough. How are you? Hi. Um, I just saw a wedding dress in a window. Can I take a look? Sure. Ah, what's that? What's that? Check him out. Polak, Ko je prekino vezu? Ja? Ja ne mogu da verujem. Zar ti nisi čuo da veze pucaj? Da, zbog preopterećenosti linije, recimo, na primjer. 
Uh, I'm sorry about this. Bye. That's okay. Bye. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Uh, tata, na poslu sam sad. Halo? Halo? Šta je pane, mogu da peru? I'm sorry. Nema veze, nakon samo razgledam. Ti si naš. Ovo je sjajno. Odakle si? Iz Beograda. Iz Beograda? Pa ja sam. Pa gde si zemljakinjo vred? A iz kog si kraja? Z Dorcela. Z Dorcela? U kojoj ulici živiš? Gde je ovdje na Dorcelu? Ma na Dorcelu, a ovdje su uopšte ne račune. A u Strakinića Bana. A ja sam u Rigi od Fer. Stvarno? Nevjerovatno, kako se nikad ranije nismo srele. Pa treba nam je New York. A šta radiš ovdje? Pa uglavnom ništa. Tražim posao, pobegla sam od bombardovanja. Pa i ti si našla gde ćeš da pobegneš, baš kod ovih koji su te bombardovali. A tako ti valjda to sve u životu, naopako. A venčanica, udeš se, a? Ne znam, ne znam još uvijek. E, izvijenim se. Ok. Halo, tata. Izvijenim. Kako tu misliš? Što operaciju? Kakvu operaciju? O čemu pričaš? Dobro, možda nije tako ozbiljna operacija. Možda ti samo pritis kada se vratiš. Ma nije, ne, znam ga. Bojim se da neće izdržati. On je star, nije za operaciju. Ja imam samo njega. Zamisli da umre pre nego što dođe. Sad, kad mi ostalo još samo par mjeseci do ispunjenja svih želja. Bože, kad samo pomislim zbog kakvih smo se gluposti svađali posljednjih godina. Tužno. Ovi uvaljač mi je poklonio pre pet godina na aerodrom. Oboje smo pušači, to baš strasni. U mnogo čemu smo isti. Zato se stalno i svađamo. Pa sam uzela upaljač mahinalno i zaboravila posle da mu ga vratim. To je sad jedino što imam od njega. Nemam čak ni jednu fotografiju. Sačekat ću još malo. Ako mi javi da mu se stanje pogrušalo, palim nazad za Beograd. Čekaj, bre, batit ćeš pet godina. Ne znam, ne znam, više ništa ne znam. One moment, please. What did he want? Nothing special. Yes, sir, no, sir. You know the way he speaks. Each sentence is in order. Metro Bank, Katerina speaking. Sure. One moment, please. Every time I talk to him, I feel like a private. Imagine how I feel. And why do you always panic every time he calls? You don't know him. He's so... Metro Bank, Katerina speaking. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Let's just say when the colonel makes up his mind about something, a whole army can't change it. What do you mean? Well, he's decided I should be married. Metro Bank, Katerina speaking. Sure, one moment, please. It 
It's not funny. I'm sorry, but I really don't see anything bad with that. What's so wrong about getting married? Well, I... Thank you, Liz. Why do you think I ran away from Oklahoma? Okay, to get away from the Colonel, but... Also, I don't want to get married. I don't really get it, but it doesn't matter. I, for one, dream of getting married one day. It's not the point. So what is the point? I don't... Oh, yeah, one second. Oh, thank you. Look, I have a... I don't date women. I would have never guessed. You seem to be very manly to me. <laughs> well, that's a shame. If I exclude you guys who don't date women, and if I exclude all these losers who are buried in their work, then who's left? Metro Bank, Katerina speaking. Thank you. Hey, why don't we get married? I mean, you need the papers for your green card, right? I mean, how else are you going to get it? Angelo will. Enough with the mob already. Metro Bank, Katerina speaking. Sure. Okay, and why would you do that for me? So the Colonel will finally leave me alone? Are you really proposing, or...? Yeah, really. I mean, it, it, would, it would be like a, a fake marriage. I mean, just for the authorities and for my dad. And uh, I mean, you and I would still be free to, I mean, you know, I mean, do what we want. Just, I mean, come on, surely you've heard about stuff like this before. Oh, and my place is huge, so there'll be plenty of room for, you know, when you move in. Excuse me, but this is a serious matter to me. Oh, I didn't mean that. I... I'm sorry. In any case, thanks. You are the first guy who proposed to me anyway. But I've always imagined it would be somehow different. <coughs> Metro Bank, Katerina speaking. Sure. Although come to think of it, your proposal does make sense. I'll consider it. Just give me some time. Kako napreduje tvoje venčanje? Ma nikako. Što? Bila sam u konzulatu i jedini način da Marko daje vizu da smo mi venčani. On ne može ovde, ja ne mogu u Beograd. On je tamo bio kod nas uopštine da to proveri. Kad je rekao da bi na venčanje došao sam, odnosno da moje mlade u Njujorku, rekli su da nije baš normalan. Još nisu čuli za venčanje bez mlade. Tako, naravno da nisu. Nisam ni ja. Evo, poruk svega mu se matičar koji još izdrao da je to sve smislio da bi skibirao vojsku. Ti znaš da je danas, danas je tačno devet meseci kako sam ja ovdje. I ništa. A za devet meseci se prerodi dete. Počne nov život. A meni ovdje nikakav nov život nije počeo. Samo nešto čekam. Od kad znam bre za sebe, ja samo nešto čekam. Dok sam bila u Beogradu da završim školu. Pa da tata dobije platu. Pa godišnji odmor. Pa kredit. Pa bonovi, pa parni i neparni dani za benzin. Pa da nam uključe, pa da nam isključe struju. Pa da prođe rat, pa da prođe bombardovanje, pa da nam se promeni vlast, pa da bolje živimo. Sada ovde je sve opet isto. Čekaj na radnu dozvolu, čekaj na vesti od kuće, čekaj na bolji posao, čekaj na zelenu kartu, jebote, sad još moram i muža da čekam da sudam. Ja sam moću normalno da živim, ništa više. Evo, pogledaj. Pogledaj ove ovdje. Čini mi se da svi ovi ovdje znaju što su tu. Sve mene. Sve mene. Ma izvini, gnjavim te. Ma ne, gnjeviš me. Preosetljiva sam u posljednje vreme. Evo, prije neki dan sam bila na koncertu i... 
neka naša pevaljka zapovala video za nas. A ja se raspakala kao dete. Kako peše to? Ma znaš sigurno. Kako ide? Čekaj, sad si me... Stani. U nebo gledam, prolaze vekovi. Davnih jedini lekovi. Kud god da krenem, tebi se vraćam ponovo. Koda mi, ko izaz moje duše Kosovo. Kud god da krenem, tebi se vraćam ponovo. Koda mi, otme, iz moje duše Kosovo. Thanks. Come on. Play. Come on, come on. 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 Ja ne mogu da verujem. Ovaj mladić potpuno je isti kao moj bojan. Moj dečko. Poginu u ratu kod Bukovara. Izvukli su ga iz kafeja jedne noći i odljeli. Bili smo zajedno. Kroz dva dana već ga više nije bilo. Moj otac je rekao da domovina mora da se brani. Eto mu nikada nisam oprostila. Bojan je bio dečko za koga sam htjela da se udam. Posle njegove smrti sam odlučila da odem. I evo me i dalje lutam. Lutam još vitak sa srebrnim lukom. To je nemoguće. Da ga nisam sahranila, mislila bih da je on. Hej, hej, hej! Look at that! Oh, that would look great on you! Not those shoes, though. I really think you should marry me. I think it would be the best thing for you. You really are the best. Thank you. I'm sorry I'm being like this. I was just thinking... Maybe we don't have to live together. That just won't work. I mean, the colonel will be on my back. I mean, he he comes by at least once a month. And he'll get suspicious if you're not there. You know, your things. You. Plus, immigration will definitely be stopping by. You know, maybe we should just forget the whole thing. No, no. Absolutely not. I'm sorry. I'm just being stupidly romantic. <laughs> I just never expected to have this kind of a marriage. Oh, but sweetie, it, this is just temporary. In a few years, you can get married again. Of course. I'll marry again, the way I always wanted to. Exactly. Come on, you're not the first person to do this for the papers. I know, it's just for the papers. Well then, we have a deal. It's a deal. Well then, my dear wife, I guess I should kiss you now. I guess you should, my dear husband. This is a Serbian wedding tradition. <laughs> oh. 
Добрый леди. Вашингтон fighter for human rights is waiting for his favorite cocktail. Добр дан. Моя клопа. Зове ми прадедина клопа, мада е он никада не е видел. Мој прадеда е живе у Нјујорку. Долази е да посматра океан. Заправо оно се други стране океана. Завичај. Београд. И једном се не е вратио. Tata misli da je ušao u vodu, polu lud od nostalgije i... Pošto nije znao da priva, udavio se. Na prvom koraku prema Srbiji. Još jedan srpski neznani junak. Tata naravno preteruje, to su njegova patrijatska naklapanja. Ali kad sedim na ovoj klupi i mislim o svemu tome... I na moj život... Sve mi se više čini da je to moguće. U svakom slučaju, ovo je mesto na kome ja volim ponekad da dođem i da razmišljam o Beogradu. O ranijem životu tamo. O tati. Zašto se najtužniji roman srpske književnosti zove Seobe? Nema smrti, ima Seoba. I o tome mislim na ovoj klubi. Dok sam studirala, htela sam da budem crnjanski. Ovaj deda koji se rodio ovde u Americi otiče u Beograd vrlo brzo nakon očevog nestanka u okeanu. Verujući da će pronaći grad iz očevih priča i vrlo brzo se uverio da je to samo glupa iluzija i klisno nazad u Ameriku. Onda mu se gubi svaki trag. On nije ni znao da je za sobom ostavio sina koji će se roditi osam meseci kasnije u Beogradu. To je moj tata. Tata je od uvek mrzeo tu Ameriku, koja mu je odnala oca, ubila dedu. A moj otac zna da mrzi, znaš. Redki su ljudi koji to znaju kao on. Ili da voli. Ili, ili. Kao da ga sad gledam. Kad sedim na ovoj klupi, on je tu. Pored mene.
Like the other one? No. And no. Odavde sve izgleda kao san, ko da nije stvarno. Zamisli, kažu da na svaka tri minuta jedna osoba u Njurku izvrši samoubistvo, a da ih dvajs pokuša svakog dana. Jutro sam dobila neki mail. Dobro jutro. Razmislite o ovome. Ako ste se jutro sprobudili zdraviji nego bolesniji, srećni ste od milion ljudi koji neće dočekati iduću nedelju. Ako u vašem frižideru ima hrane, na vama odeće, nad glavom imate krov i krevet u koji ćete leći, bogati ste od 75 od sustanovnika obog sveta. Ako imate račun u banci, novac u novčaniku i nešto sitniša okolo u nekoj kutici, pripadate među 8% najbolje stojećih ljudi na svetu. Ako su vam roditelji još živi, a ustoje još uvek u braku, spadate među stvarno redke osobe. Ako možete pročitati ovu poruku, upravo ste dvostruko srećni. Neko je mislio na vas i ne spadate među dve milijarde oni koji ne znaju da čitaju. Sviđa mi se. E, sad ćemo to lepo da uzmemo pa da prosledimo malo i drugima. Vidi ovo? A? Honey, I'm home. Hey, look, 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 look. <laughs> what is that? What do you mean, what is that? It's a, it's a thing, it's a, it's a cow. It's a toy. <laughs> what do we need a toy for? Well. You never know. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> My father would be thrilled to see that we had planned for everything in advance. I wouldn't be surprised if he shows up tomorrow in his full uniform, medals and all. All right, ready? Watch. Oh. <laughs> That's great. 
<laughs> I was ready for anything, but I really didn't expect this. <laughs> All right. Come on, come on. Come on. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, no, 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 come on, come on, get up, get up, get up. Wait, wait, listen to me. Ready? Okay. Here we go. <laughs> this is awesome. All right, I am going to make coffee. John? Well, maybe this is not the right moment, but I need to ask you something. Well, as long as it's not too personal. <laughs> Please. Uh, well, actually, I don't know how to tell you this. Well, just say it. Unless you're pregnant. <laughs> I think I can deal with everything else. I have a boyfriend in Belgrade and... Betrayal. So soon, you slut! Okay, <laughs> calm down. He is my ex-boyfriend, oh. and it's been a long time now, and well, three years actually. But it doesn't matter. He called me an hour ago from Munich. He is there now, and uh, he wants to come here. Would you mind that? Why would I mind that? Well, no, but would you mind him? Staying with us? <laughs> of course not. I mean, after all, when it comes to matters of love, my values are absolutely liberal. <gasps> Whee! Yay! Hey, personal space. <laughs> you Slavics and your passion. <laughs> Učiniš da mi je otac ozdravi. Imam samo njega. Molim te. What can I get you? Uh, whiskey, please. I'll give you a double shot, but I'll only charge you for a single. You're very kind. Always. Is it true that St. Patrick can really help people? 
<laughs> Always the same with white people. They don't trust their saints. I don't know what to tell you. Some of my friends are convinced that he does miracles. Although I notice he's not so great with gamblers. But as Washington said, for those who believe miracles happen. Yeah, man. What's wrong? My father is very ill. I've prayed to St. Patrick. I think it might have been smarter for him to see a doctor. That's not the problem. So what's the problem? He wants to see me. So what's preventing you from seeing him? The fact he's 10,000 miles away. I understand. You don't. You can't go because of the papers. You have no idea how much I understand. Even more, I sympathize. And why would you sympathize with me? Because we, the Irish, went through that a long time ago. My family over a century ago, of course. We lived through that. After us were the Italians and the Polish and so on. Look at this. Native soil. Two Irishmen sell lumps of native soil to Irish Americans to be thrown on their caskets when they die. It's about 15 bucks for a 0.7 pound bag. You know, today, 40 million Americans claim to be of Irish descent. Where are you from? From Belgrade, but I doubt you've heard about it. Yes. Dobr vech, dobr dan, laka noich, nima problema. Mind me, didn't know it was your day off. Oh, peace, the Matarina. Moji, nerviski? More. More, Rachu. I don't know that. There's a girl from Belgrade that works here, and tonight she's off, but if you stop by tomorrow, you'll meet her. Eh? Satsika, zhivali. Zhivali. I know what's happening in your country. There's always somebody going through that same shit. Now it's your turn, Serbs. You know what they say, there's harmony in the pain. Once you have somebody smiling on one side, then you have to have somebody crying on the other. It's for the balance, you get it? And just so you know, Irish writers. And now you hear what one Serbian writer said about Belgrade. Enough. How they like it? It was interesting. But I see my Serbians far from being poetic. Uh, it doesn't matter. It's important that you heard a little bit of it. Nima problema.
Your father, he heard you. How would you know that? I know. A couple of years ago, I was on the edge of clinical death. And ever since then, I, I understand certain, certain things a little better. You must have faith. People in my village, they say, he who has faith, he is the victor. Everybody has faith like our being. But we are not on Jamaica. We are in the middle of New York City. In Jamaica and Guyana and all the Caribbean islands along the South American coast, whatever the slaves are brought to work on plantations, there is not a single soul that does not believe, not a one. Standing on the shore in, in Guyana and Georgetown, between you and Africa, there is only ocean. There is nothing between the two continents but infinite ocean. Now, imagine the slaves, more dead than alive, being transported in the bowels of the ships. They, they knew they would never return. They could not bridge that distance. But standing on that shore and staring into the infinity, they learned how they could still feel Africa as if it is still inside them, as if they never left it, as if it's not 10,000 miles away. Yeah, and do nothing but stare in the ocean instead of being with my dying father. In prayer, distance means nothing. For a miracle to happen, you, you must not think whether it is possible, but how badly you you want it. Arizumesh? <laughs> Good. Go to the Ground Transportation Center in the Arrival Hall. For taxis, proceed to the taxi stand just outside of the building where a uniform taxi dispatcher will listen to you. The body of a young man they found in the fuselage next to the landing gear. Probably some immigrants. Man, I think that's it. You have to check on the aerodrome. It's still normal, Andre. Uplašio si me čoveče, pa zašto mi nisi javio da nećeš doći? Ma, pa kako možeš čoveče, pa kako ne razumeš? Pa uplašio si me bre! Pa kako možeš čoveče? Pa zašto mi... Kako ne razumeš, uplašio si me! I šta sad? Nema nade od tebe. Hej! I'm going downstairs to grab something to eat. Do you want something? No, thanks, I'm fine. Estás segura? No vas a tener hambre después? No. I'm sorry, I have to work. Okay. So yeah, I'm just gonna um, play my music, but I'm not even here, okay? Te dijeron hoy lo bonita que estabas. Hmm? 
contigo, ¿viste? Come on. Hey, come here. I was only kidding. Ven acá. Hey. Come on, wait. Alo, tata. Kako? Šta, sada? Baš sada. U koji bolnici? A ko će te uperisiti? Koji doktor? Ne znaš neki broj da mogu da nazovem? Pet. Ne brini, tata. Biće sve u redu. Ajde. Ajde, čujemo se. Jelena, ja sam. Gde si? Moram da te vidim. Gde? Jelena! Sve sam smislila. Sve. Znam kako mogu da sudam i da Marko dođe ovde. Imam suludu ideju. Slušaj, Ivana, moja sestra, možda se uda umesto mene. Nas dve strašno ličimo i kada se nasmijemo, imamo istu rupicu ovde. Evo baš ovde, kao tata. U Međanici niko neće primetiti da to nisam ja. Kapiraš to rešenje? A? Šta kažeš, Marija? Pa, da, to je možda moguće. Treba razmisliti. Ajde, ti si skroz mokra. Ajmo negde da se malo zagreš. Ej, znam, jedno odlično mesto. Ajde. Ej! Aj! Whisky? No, no, no whisky this time. Something not as strong. Then I recommend our favorite cocktail. How special is St. Patrick's liquor? How's your father? He called me half an hour ago and said they were taking him to the surgery room. He's having an operation just as we speak. Everything is going to be fine. Yes, it is. 
Nemam pojma čija sam. Kad bi imala pojma čije bi bila? Trebalo je da budem nenadova, a sad sam jednog džona koji ima dečka. Obično ne volim da se upoznajem sa našim, ali vas dve mi se činiti još tužniji slučaj od mene. Ja sam Katarina, gospodar Jevremova 27, četvrti sprat, stan broj 9. Marija Rigi od Fere 15 kroz 2. Jelena Strahinića, bana broj 10, peti sprat, stan broj 4. Ne, verovatno. Znala sam da ovo neće biti običan sutra. Živali smo u istom kraju, jedno pored drugi. Kako to da se nismo ranije trela? Trebao nam je New York. Trebao da se izgleda i čitove grada bi se biti trela. Pa u to ime, živeli. Živeli. Otac ti je bolestan. Ja sam ostala bez oca kad mi najviše trebao. Bila sam strašno besna na njega. Išla sam u treći osnovne. Lupala sam rukama u prozor od besa. Onda sam odjednom udarjala glavom i razbila staklo. Nisam htjela da ga vidim zato što me ostavi. Nisam htjela ni na sahranu da idem. I onda majka nije mogla da prežele njegovu smrt pa me je i ona ostavila. Baba i deta su mi živi. Stric brine o njima. Ja sam često bila besna na mogu oca. It seems to me that it doesn't make me understand. I would like to give all of them to the world, just to be able to hide them. I am coming. Idemo. Bye. Bye. Say hi to your father. Iz Beograda sam pobegla da ne bi morala perem čaše sa diplomom fakultete i da ne moram da rešavam probleme u životu hvatujući bogatog muža. A sve me to ovde dočekalo. Tako mi je suđeno. Hajde vidimo se. Hajde, čao. Sada će ovi. Katarina, I'm coming, I'm coming. Hajde, čao. She's gonna insist on that. <laughs> Jeez, oh, the, the, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> now that's an interesting pose. No. no it's, it's like you're not like in here. Oh my god. You're very close. Morala sam da te čujem. 
A i ovde je noć. Pa ne mogu da spavim. Kako ti možeš? Pa ništa, htjela sam samo da ti kažem da te volim. Da, mogla sam sutra to da ti kažem. Koji si ti kreten? Ma daj, molim te. Koji poslovi? Ma ti poslovi. A ne verujem ti ništa. Ti da hoćeš da dođeš, došao bi. Nešo, slušaj. Imam ideju. Nešo? Nenad, jel ti to spavaš? Stvarno nisi normalan. Čekaj, stani. Stani. Halo? Me čuješ? Kaži. Kaži sad. Udala si se. Halo, jer me čuješ? Jelena, udala si se. Da li vi, Ivana, u ime svoje sestre Jelene Stanković, želite da stupite u brak sa Markom Babovićem? Da. Just got married. That's great. Congratulations. Thanks.
said the Sinash? I don't understand. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought you were from Serbia. Where are you from? Moscow. Why? Nothing. Just asking. Ja se vraćam. Nostalgija? Skoro i ne osjećam više nostalgiju. Možda ponekad. I to obično sad pred Novu godinu. Nova godina. Sneg. To mi pocati na detinstvo. Od naše generacije skoro da više niko nije ostao u Beogradu. Nemanja se ubio pre dve godine. Izašao jedne noće kasno iz stana i otišao na železničku stanicu. Obesio se u nekom napuštenom vagonu. Zoki i Mare su poginjali još u toku rata. Sandra je umrla od nekog galopirajućeg raka. Anđela se razvela i sad živi s nekim krimusom koji može otac da i bude. To mu je treći brak, a već ima petoro deca. Anđela je bila najlepša devika na fakultetu. Ceca se porodila. Kažu da je bebe invalid. Sve zbog toga siromašnog uranima kojim su nas bombardovali i tako ispitivali ta razna nova nagružanja. Kažu da je više od pola miliona mladih ljudi napustilo zemlju. Srbija je danas među pet zemalja sa najstarijim stanovništvom na svetu. Kad sve to čujem, nama sigurno nije najgore. Deca rastu. Mislim, tu smo. Život ide dalje. Ponekad mi se čini da sve ovo i nije stvarno. Zagledam se tako i uhvatim sebe kako se čudim. Otkud ja ovde? Ovo je moj grad. Ovde ću ostati. Vozim, pomislim. Ovo stvarno ja vozim kola ulicama New Yorka. Ja i John. I dalje smo zajedno. To mi je potpuno nevjerovatno. A eto, živimo već deset godina. Ne razvodimo se. Navikli smo ovako. Nenad. Nenad, naravno, nikad nije došao. Valjda sve treba tako nekako da bude. Valjda je to život. Mada i dalje se ponekad pita. Ko je kriv? Marija. Marija je u Beogradu. Čujemo se povremeno. Živi sam, otac joj je umro nekoliko meseci pošto se vratila. Rodit će sina. 
Ona koja je bila spremna na sve, samo da se nikad ne vrati u Beograd. Sada mi piše da ga neće napustiti. Da može da živi samo tamo. Sa njom se nešto dešava, neka promjena, meni nejasna. Poslednji put mi je pisala kako hoće da se deti rodi u Beogradu. Da prekine sa tim lutanjima koje prate njenu porodicu čita vek. Puštala mi je crnjanskog lamenta nad Beogradom. Međutim, sjaš i sad, kroz san moj tavni, kroz bezbroj suza naših večanu mrak i prah, krv tvoja ko rosa pala je na ravni, ko nekad da hladi tolikih samrtnički dah. Grlim još jednom na tvoj kamen strm i tebe i savu i tvoj dunav trom. Sunce se radi u mom snu. Sini, sevni, zagrmi ime tvoje, kao iz vedrog neba grom. A kad i meni odbije čas stari sahar tvoj, to ime će biti posljednji šapat moj.